gotta send out and you people gotta accept it. You know? Because I ain't, we, uh, brothers out in the house was in the Bible, we ain't got no bachelor degree or some plaque standing posted up behind me stating what university I attended to to have the authority to come and speak the Bible. The Bible comes from heaven, man. Alright? Esau, man, you, you, you control everything, but you can't control the, the Spirit of the Lord, man. And that's the thing that he hates. Because he knows the Spirit of the Lord is coming back to destroy him. Alright? And he knows that the Spirit of the Lord is going to come back and deliver the nation of Israel. Okay? It says, verse 15, Romans 10 and 15, how, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Right. And these are good things to, for you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians to hear, man. No, for hearing that you're, you're actually a Hebrew Israelite, that should, that should make you happy, man. You know? After that, you start... You start uh, Putting on the nature of a Hebrew Israelite, which is the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, you grow out your, your beard. Some brothers can, some brothers can't. Uh, you start rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Stay, you, you abstain from port. All right. You start uh, 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 trying to trying to uh, rehearse the righteous acts, man. You 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 eat better. You behave yourself in a wise manner. You know. You uh. uh you, you may you, you, you use the sermon, you know, instead of just jumping off the handle like you would in the world. You actually sit back and watch. You 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 you, you uh, measure the time, man. You know, that's what that's what it's about when you come into Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's being transformed into a new man, not 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 the old man. Because a lot of these people that are in their church are still that old man. You know, they just have. They just had this, this uh, the, the, the doctrine of prosperity preached to them, man. You know? We're coming, I was about to come out here and let you know that all that tangible stuff is out the window, man. It's about to be burned up. You know? It says, Romans 10 and uh, 16. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For, a lot, for Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? Come so, even though a man of the Lord is sent out, not everybody's going to believe our report, man. Just like when Yahweh Shai was on the earth, not everybody believed anything that he said, man. Many departed from him. Many were offended in his sayings. Just like y'all get offended in what we speak about, or what I say when I, right here in San Angelo, Texas. You know? Y'all get very offended. And I, I don't even got to look, right look at you right in your eyes. I can just look in the peripheral and see that... You have a a, a, a a very hateful look upon your face against me, man. That I can I can somehow read your thoughts. But ultimately the most side knows your thoughts and he's the one who's recording it, man. You know? But it says, verse 16, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who had believed our report? Done. You know? Who who who's believing our report? And starting with the elders of Great Millstone down, you know, Elder Tahar, you know, now, uh, you know, basically, it was primarily up in New York and then trickled down to the, the West Coast. Now it's everywhere. So only the elect are going to believe the report. Not everybody, because if it was for everybody, everybody in New York by now would be, would, would be a believer of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And know that 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 white image, uh, Jesus Christ, is a false image, man. That's really Cesar Borgia. That's how we know that only only the elect are gonna believe our report. All right, and you get you, the elect of the nation of Yahshua Allah. All right, Israel. He is a prince of power, man. You know, this book is not for everybody. You know, it says verse seventeen, Romans ten and seventeen. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. Right? So that's how you're going to know. That's how you're going to know things that are going on in the world that, that are de detrimental to your health, man. To your life, to your spirit. You know? It's like I was saying, man. A lot of these, 
a lot of these foods, man, a lot of these foods that are pushed out in the grocery store are nothing but GMO, man. And those, those start cancer. You know, because only a disease can live in an acidic uh, a, a body. And the, the, the so-called white, don't, they'll teach you about having to have a, a balanced pH, PHB balance. You know, that the water that today that you drink is full, full of fluoride. They don't tell you that stuff. But the men of the Lord, the brothers, are coming out doing that thing to y'all, man. They're telling y'all, feeding y'all knowledge. Tell you that hey you gotta you gotta receive the spiritual uh, uh the spiritual oil you know there's a lot of essential oils out there that are uh that are helpful to your your spirit man you know they you can be uh, uh in a very aggravated state like state of mind stressed out anxiety but you can get a little bit of frank incense and rub it up uh, upon your head or on your temples and it'll bring a a a a a, 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 a uh, 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 so bring peace to you, man. Relief, and it's not temporary. It's it's, it's a long-lasting uh, uh, feel. But ultimately, that was all symbolic uh, for the spirit of the Lord, man. The word. But we still got to use them. You know, we use the use the world by not abusing it. The Most High uh, created certain herbs of the earth for us, for medicinal purposes, or for uh, you know healing scars you know but Esau don't tell us that what does he push he pushes all that pharmaceutical these pharmaceutical companies these drugs upon us tell us, hey take this take that I'm gonna prescribe you this prescribe you that you know because he knows that if he if he if he fully per, uh, persuades all the people the multitude of the people here persuades them about the essential oils the herbs you know uh, different uh, fruits that can be uh, that, that fight against disease he, the, these pharmaceutical companies will be out out of business man out of business all right the, the, these pharmaceutical companies are the biggest drug dealers on the earth man and, and a lot of you people y'all don't know about that well, a lot of people nowadays they do because you know think people knowledge is increasing you know but he ain't out there telling only us the, the, uh, starting with the elder GMS, Great Millstone, Elder Tahar, all the way down. We're the only ones that are telling you these things, man. And to you brothers, you know, even I'll speak to you brothers on the camera, man. You get, get, start getting y'all some uh, essential oils, man. You know, get you like Frank, Frank incense, myrrh. Uh, 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 you got a, uh, you got the uh, peppermint. You can get peppermint. Uh, what other one? You can get sandalwood, the essential oil. But you gotta apply it with the carrier oil, man. That way you can apply it to your skin. That way it can fully penetrate your your your, your what it needs to fulfill the purposes of it, the benefits, man. But they ain't telling you that stuff, man. That's why this devil got to go here in America, man. But all these things that were created for our use, man, for the nation of Israel, Yasha Allah, the so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native American Indians, man. You know? But you brothers, man, y'all you need to uh Get into that, into that whole, uh, you know, the health, you know, the benefits of the, the, the oils, the herbs, you know, uh, applying spices to your food, you know, because you can use all that stuff. Like you, you get, uh, uh, you know, that macadamia oil can be used as a co coconut oil as well. Olive oil uh, can be used as a culinary, which is, you know, you can apply it to your food. Uh, you can use... Uh, you can also use them certain things as a carrier oil, which are other essential oils. For as topical, uh, uh, you know, you apply it to your, your top layer, your skins, your face, your your, your temples, your, your 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 hair to help uh, strengthen your hair follicles. Uh, do away with blemishes. Uh, straight, uh, certain oils can uh, strengthen uh, strengthen your immune system. You see, uh, you got like the herbs like garlic. You know, garlic has a, a, a actual a chemical in there that when you act, you have to actually break, yes, you, you have to actually smash and break the garlic in order for that uh, that chemical to be activated. Uh, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, the proper pronunciation it was a uh, uh, allicin. Right, if I'm not mistaken, Akim, but it's that actual chemical in there in the inside garlic. Like I said, you gotta when you break that garlic clove off, you, when you smash it, that's what activates that chemical in the garlic. And that chemical is very potent 
and it can kill you know diseases it can it fights against diseases you know it uh it help it's a lot of a lot of health benefits to it man. instead of running to these pharmaceutical companies that, that that's to that's to, to, to uh, destroy you man the most I gave these herbs and these essential oils on the earth to help us fight against these the uh, uh these things that are on the earth man like allergies but the so-called white man ain't telling y'all that man you know that's why we gotta uh, we gotta seek out truth, man. You gotta have the ability to discern who who who's who. All right, uh, right. Like I said in Romans ten and seventeen. So then, so then faith cometh by hearing, and the hearing of the word of the Most High. Con. So only the men are gonna come out to the highways and the byways. You know, bold as a lion, speaking amongst the people and the chief concourse of the place, calling out to the elect. Like fishers of men, man. That's so how we're fishing for the elect, the chosen. Okay. Hey, man, you want to be anointed? You gotta come over here, Mashiach. You know, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's what he, that's what his, his name is. You know, Mashiach means anointed, and Yahweh Shai, he is salvation. You know, he's that he's that oil, man, that we need, man. You know, he's that 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 that, that wisdom, that knowledge, man. You know, this is a uh, I got a script. Just to prove a point that he he is a god of knowledge, man, and that knowledge is oil. This is uh, First Samuel two and three. It says, "Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a god of knowledge, and by Him actions are weighed." Con. So Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, their powers of knowledge, man. All right. They're not just out there, just floating around, not knowing anything what's going on, and just basically just, just they created something and they're just leaving it unattended. They've been watching for hundreds and hundreds of years through the through the eyes of the angels in the heavens, man. You know, it says First uh, Samuel two and three. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge. Right, so. Like I was saying, man, our powers are well, you know, alive, man. And that's who they're looking for, those that, that seek after knowledge. All right? That want wisdom. Just like King Solomon, man. You know, he had all the beautiful uh, essential oils. He had all the, 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 the wealth of the world that has to offer, man. All the precious woods. You know? Uh, the oils. You know, he had the best taste in wine. You know? That best drink, you know, which make that the whole that whole like people, you got people out here that are so bogged out in their minds, they they like to say that in the churches that that you can't be drinking alcohol or wine and stuff like that of that nature, that it's going off, that it's sin. Well, in the scripture, it tells us otherwise, man. It says to drink to drink moderately, all right, and that wine was created to make a man glad, to take us away from the our, our oppression, man. Because here, being here in America, you're always oppressed. You know, you 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 may be uh trying to find ways to pay your bills, man. You know, because I know I've been there, and and, and the brothers, you know, even watching you, Jakes, y'all have a hard time, you know, keeping jobs and finding jobs, man. You know, and that that that's oppression. You know, because we all want to work, we all need to eat. You know. And then, but we're put to a point to where we, we were left like, hey man, you know, fuck this place, you know. And that's just what it is, you know. But he's a god of knowledge, all right. And this knowledge is like oil, all right. Uh, this is Matthew 25 and verse 2. Let's start at verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their laps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their laps and took no oil with them. Con. And that's all parabolic talk, talking about that we are as a lamp. Where is that, where that light that shineth on the, on the hilltop, that light represents that knowledge, man. Pushing out this prophecy, this words of prophecy out to you. All right. It says that they were foolish 
they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil and their vessels with their lamps. Right, so the oil is representation of this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. All right? This, this, this word, man. This is Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. God, so this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the strength of our salvation. It's that oil, man, that essential oil. This is that essential thing that you need to be able to make it out of this hell, man. To be saved, to be cured, to be made whole. Everything else is out here to destroy you, man. Like I was mentioning, man, it's all parabolic. The foods out here in America today, they're, they're, they're put out to destroy, to kill you. The water that you drink is here to kill you. But it says in Matthew 25, But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Right, it could constantly continue to let it burn. Let that fire burn in them, you know. They, they weren't empty, man. They were they were full, you know, to to, to whatever measure of faith the Yahweh by Shia Shah was giving them, you know. Verse five: While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made: Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go you out to meet him. Come, and that's what we're doing. We're we're at midnight right now, man. And the morning's about to dawn. All right, that day, that daylight, man. The return of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. A cry, like it says, and at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. And that's what y'all people, y'all ain't trying to go out and meet Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in the right way. Y'all be, be pr presumptuous. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, man. Y'all are empty. You ain't got no oil in y'all in yourselves, in y'all's land. You ain't got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. And, and one of the most central things to have. Is, is the name because without the name you ain't ever gonna uh, uh, be able to come in contact with the Lord you know? it says verse 7 then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps and the foolish said unto the wise give us give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out right and that's what y'all gonna be saying man in the, in the detrimental times all right, those 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 uh uh those evil days, hey man, give us what give us some of that that oil, man. You know, that way we can uh get right with the Lord. It ain't up to us, man. It's gonna be to the spirit of the Lord who he decides on who's gonna receive this oil, man. Okay, like I was saying, like with a, with with the scripture bear witness, many are called, few are chosen. So it ain't gonna be up to, to up to me or up to the brothers. It's going to be up to y'all by Shem Yahweh was shy, man. But that's how y'all going to be like. Hey, man, when, when y'all catching hell, when y'all about to die, y'all going to be, hey, y'all going to see a brother walking past y'all. Y'all going to be, hey, man, give us, help us, help us. Deliver us. And we're going to be like, no, man. Unless you're part of the elect, the Spirit of the Lord is going to deliver you in that time. When you're faced with death, man. You know? It says... And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us our oil, give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Con, so hey, go to Nathaniel 7. You know, he sells his the, the, the wisdom. You know, go to these churches, they, they, they take your money. You know. And, and, and another thing on that same note, you can't buy this truth, man. You can't buy it. You can't buy the, 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 the spirit. You can't buy the spirit of the Lord, man. You, just got, you got that one that one example in the book of Acts where a certain that certain sorcerer was trying to buy the uh, the holy the, the spirit of power from, from Paul or from Peter and he turned around and cursed him, man. You know? He rebuked him and cursed him out. Because he thought he could try to buy the spirit, man, with money. Because he didn't have that oil. That oil, that so-called oil, you got that artificial oil, man. That artificial oil that wasn't, it wasn't the real thing. You know? He, 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 he couldn't, you know? And he got rebuked. 
That's what's gonna happen, man, in those times, man, because the Lord says, seek me in the in the seek me while, while I still may be found. Y'all ain't trying to seek the Lord while he may be found, man. You know? It says in Matthew 25 and uh verse 10, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went with in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Come. And that's what's going on right now, man. The doors are being shut. You know? Every brother that's being sealed up, that door is shut. No, no man can take away his salvation. You know, no man can take his joy, man. He received it. He took it wholeheartedly, happily. And now it, it's been in, in, in embedded in him. He's been sealed with the Holy Spirit, man. But we don't know that yet. You know? We're not going to know. Like the scriptures say, he that endureth to the end, he shall be saved. We're not in the end yet. We're not at the end yet, man. But it's near. Because all everything that's going on, man, like in the world with these different wars and that and things of that nature, that's all part of, of leading to the uh the, the return of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But like I was saying in that parable in Matthew 25, we, we gotta uh, uh fill ourselves up with this oil, man. You know, with this word, this truth. Okay. It says uh, going back to Matthew 25 and 10 And while they went to buy The bridegroom came And they that were ready went in with him To the marriage and the door was shut Afterward came also the other virgins Saying Lord, Lord, open to us But he answered and said Verily I say unto you I know you not Watch therefore for you know neither day nor hour Wherein the Son of Man cometh Come See so y'all people don't really know what time it is man you ain't measuring the time diligently in itself. You know, like I was saying, y'all 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 feel the, the, the y'all feel yourselves with that artificial oil, man. Y'all got that that fake fragrance, the wax cubes. You know that that's what y'all feel yourself with parabolically, you know, symbolically. I'm talking about y'all feel yourself with these world, the world, man, the tangible things of the world. You know, the love of money, the love of women, the lust of the flesh. Y'all worship the creature more than you do the creator, man. No, but like I was saying, man, uh, when the Most High comes, man, you, you ain't got that 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 uh that pure thing, which is the Word. He ain't dealing with you, man. He's gonna leave you out in the cold, and you're gonna be left out in the cold, man. All right, this is the Book of Titus, chapter one, verse fifteen. Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Con, so this is that pure oil, man. If 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 you're if, if you ain't got the pure thing, you ain't got the real thing, you asked out. You know? The Lord's gonna look at and start laughing at you. It's like to, in today's society, you, you got Jake's, Jake's wild, man. You got he, he, he'll wear fake Gucci. And then somebody else that can can spot that out. They start mocking them, start laughing at them. That's how Yahweh Shah is going to do you, man, because you ain't got that pure thing. You ain't got that real thing. Talking about this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You know? Like the Lord, like the scriptures bear witness to when he comes back from the, from the clouds, from the chariots, from the heavens. You're all going to be, y'all going to be all astonished because you're going to be like, that was him? That was he who we uh, 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 mocked and scoffed at? He was numbered among the, amongst the saints? You know? Because this whole time y'all thought the Savior was a white image, man. Y'all thought this whole this whole time y'all thought everybody was gonna be delivered and saved. This whole time you thought that because you had you had all the, 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 the riches of the world, the Lord was dealing with you. This whole time you thought because you had a, a, a family and you were good, you had a home, you had cattle, that the Lord was dealing with you. The Lord the Lord blesses the wicked and the good, man. But the, when, where you want to truly be blessed at is if you're going to make it in the good grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not on this side, man. Because being on this side in this world today, you're supposed to be catching hell, man. You're not supposed to be living it up. That's, the, that's what the, the rest of the world does, man. And that's something that, you, like, we always got to speak to the younger brothers, the brethren. You got to... Uh, you got to get that mindset out your mind, man, because that was you in the prior time before you came into the truth. 
You know, you, you, you thought as a child, you know, you spoke as a child, and you became a man, man. So you gotta uh, really uh, take this, this thing into consideration and count the cost. You know, because these people ain't doing that, man. They think everything's a, a game. You know, they think this, this, the Lord is a light, is a light man. He think he's not, they take, they don't take him serious. Because like the scriptures say uh, in, in Ecclesiastes, let me see. This is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right, so because you don't think the Lord is, well, the Lord, Bible says not to do this, but I did it. He didn't do nothing, so I'm good. I can keep doing whatever else I want. No, man, that's, that's the most high has left you, he's given you, uh, lifted up your pride. He's allowed your pride to be lifted up, okay? So when it when it when it actually comes to pass, you're gonna you, it's gonna hit you like 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 when you get into an accident on the car wreck. You don't know where that car came out of. It just came like they say the police officer comes up, hey, what happened? I don't know, man. It just came out of, around the corner and just hit me. Because then it's, right now you everything is real comfortable. You're peaceful. You're, nothing's touched you yet. War hasn't came to America yet. So you think everything's good. But when it happens, you're gonna be in a great astonishment, man. Well, I'm going to read it again, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Huh. That's why y'all people don't get it right, man, because you don't take the Lord serious. You Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians. But there's a cost in that that you got to pay, and that's going to be your life. All right? I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians 13 and 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Con, so you, you, when you come into this thing, you gotta put away them childish things, man, because you got 50 year old, 30, 40, 50 year old men, women out here that are still children, man. They got a mindset of a children, impudent, hard headed, stiff neck, you know, have no loyalty, have no dignity. You got to, when you come into this truth, you got to put off that old nature, man, that weak nature. Even though us brothers in the truth, we are weak, we're, we're always going to be weak because we're in this flesh. But you got to understand where I'm coming from. All right? You got to put off that old nature, you know? So you got to put off, like I said, and put away childish things, man. And that's, the childish things is the, the things of the world that this world has to offer. Okay? Another script I want to get. Is in this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 20. It says, Brethren, be not children of understanding. Howbeit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. Con. So, like I was saying, when you come into this thing, you gotta put you gotta put away all that childish way of mind, that mindset, that childish mindset. And you got to put on this, this, this truth and gird up thy loins like a man and follow Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai with, with, with us wherever he go with, man. Be you safe know? while you're Come on, man. I appreciate that. No it says, uh, I'm going to read it one more time, Corinthians uh, 14 and 20. Brethren, be not children in understanding. How be it in malice be, be ye children. But in understanding be men. Right. So in wickedness... You know, be 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 be, be uh, silly to, towards that. You know, like you know, what is that? You know, you have no knowledge of that. You know, you're like, man, I'm I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about this truth. I'm about this thing. You're on the right side of the balance, so to speak. So everything has to be at a balance. You know, it says the unjust balance is an abomination to the most high. All right. So when you come into this thing, I can you gotta uh, fully. Turn, you know, turn away from them old habits, that old man, right? I mean, there's another script that's about that. All right? Let's see where it's at. Huh? It says, "Con, First Peter chapter four, uh, verse four, verse one. It says, for as much then as Yahweh Shai Mashiach has suffered for us in the flesh." 
arm yourself likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his life or his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right? So that's what I'm telling to you, brothers, on the, uh, on the other side of the screen, Naki, is that when you come into this thing, man, you got to put off some childish things, which is the childish ways of America. Because the, the scriptures say, folly is set in great dignity here, man. All right? Over here, you, you go on YouTube, you go on Facebook, all they got is foolery on there, man. Complete nonsense. Like it's a big joke, you know? But like I was saying, when, when everything hits the fan, it's going to be a whole different outlook for you people, man. A complete big outlook, different outlook to you, for you people. All right, you're gonna be trying to look look for the Lord. You're gonna be trying to uh, seek out the brothers that are on the highways and the byways, and you, you ain't gonna find them no more, man. You know, because right now, like the, like the Lord said, you're supposed to be uh, looking for those men on while the day may uh, while he still may be found, which is the Lord. All right. Like I was saying, man, uh, uh, folly is setting great dignity here in America, man. It's all about, it's all about uh, how high you can get here in this in this society. Who got the best position? Who got who got the highest paying job? Who makes the most money? Who has the best clothes? The biggest house? That's all complete nonsense, man. And that's all gonna go out the window pretty soon. You ain't gonna be able to live in your house. You're gonna be fleeing for your life trying to find ways to feed your, your family, you know? But hey, you know, hey, you got, you, like, like the elder Gabar, if I'm not mistaken, he said this, uh, this is a necessary evil, man. You know, this is a necessary evil. We gotta have it. It has to be here in order for us to be drawn to closer to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. okay? That's what's gonna keep us, that's how we discern who's the good and the bad. I'm good, man. I'm good. That's how we discern. That. What's that? Do that. Nah, man. I, I, do, I do, but I'm good. I'm, I'm speaking right now. I'm speaking right now. You recording? Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. All right. All right then. But like Does I was help? saying, huh? Does it help? Does what help? Does that help other people? Yeah, it, don't, it would only help the, the people on this sign, the Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians. If you don't, if you don't fall into one of these tribes, this right. Bible ain't for you. Salvation ain't for you. It ain't. No, it's only for these people, for the, the, the Israelites. Have you heard of the Israelites? Yeah. That's who this, this Bible is written for. Oh, that's a different Bible than no, the this is the Bible? No, this is the Holy Bible, the King James Version. Uh -huh. This is the this Bible uh -huh. was compiled for these people, for this people. So what happens to anybody else? You're, you're, you're done. This is, this is your heaven. This is it? This is your heaven. You probably, more than likely, I mean, if you don't, if you, if you don't come from, this, from one of these tribes, these tribes uh, how do you know if you come from one of them? It's, it's just through the spirit, you know, like like you're uh, like just through the spirit, you know. If, you, if you're humble, you know, you, you have you understand, you see where we're coming from. You have sympathy towards these people, you know. You feel for I have sympathy people. towards anybody. Well, you, I mean, you can't though because you got because the so-called white man. You have you have when the so-called white man came, came into rulership was when, when after the dark ages and the Renaissance period, right? Okay, did he have sympathy for these people? 